Chelsea. Emma? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very good. Chelsea, Emma, I deal sometimes with cases that some people might call small, like small claims. But it's rare that I've dealt with a case which is petty. Now, I'm not suggesting your case is petty, you understand. But it does seem to me that it's a small case, correct? You've brought a case against your friend Emma, who, as I understand it, you live with and is a roommate of yours. Because you extended Emma, you say, a loan to pay for a flight ticket to India, right? Yes. And you say that that was clearly a loan. And that Emma hasn't paid you back for that loan. And there were precise and specific terms of that loan. And especially that the money would be paid back by April, i.e. within a short period of time, because you needed that money back to spend in India and you don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Now, do you have a lot of savings, Chelsea? Not really, no. No. Right, she lives like you in difficult circumstances, a student's in effect. Correct? Yes. Money isn't easy, correct? Yes. Money means a lot to Chelsea. Correct? Yes. Very good so far. Chelsea, now, you had a little bit of money saved, so you bought a ticket to India, correct? Yes. Now, Emma came to you after the two of you agreed to go to India, right? Yes. And what did Emma say to you, Chelsea? Said so she didn't have the money to pay me, or to pay for the flight. And you say, well, that's a shame. How awful. I'll either have to go on my own, there's plenty of travellers, single travellers in India, or I'll go with someone else. Did you say that? Yes. But, like, yes. Yeah. Did she say that? Yes. Right. Then what happened? I said I'd pay for her flight. Well, why would you pay for her flight? You don't have much money. I had money at the time, saved up, and I said I'd pay for her flight. How much was the flight? 706. Well, between us, it's 380 each. 380 pounds each. It was a student flight of some kind. Yeah, Skyscanner. So there's a good chance that you're going via Azerbaijan or somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 380 pounds each. Yeah. Right yeah. so far. Now, Chelsea, you say that you offer to pay for Emma's flight. Was that a gift, Emma? No, it wasn't a gift. Well, that's a good start. What were the terms in which you were extending Emma this loan? Well, she didn't have the money to pay me back straight away. What date is this? What date is this? This is in January when we booked the flight. Why do you keep answering a question with a question? I don't understand. What's your name? What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Where are you from? Where am I from? <laughs> <laughs> Nervous? <laughs> Deep um, breath. Pardon? Deep breath. Deep breath. Yes, you just repeated me again. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the computer on Star Trek. <laughs> what was the question, sorry? What were the terms of the loan? The terms of the loan were to... She was, I was going to pay for it. She said she couldn't be able to pay me back straight away. Well, she can't have paid you back straight away. She didn't have much so money. So she said she'd be able to pay... Right. She was in the same financial situation as you. She came to you with no money. Right? She certainly didn't have £380. You knew what her living arrangements were because you were in the same house. Yeah. She said to you, I can't afford it. She's doing the same job as you. So you have a rough sense of her income. Yeah. Correct. When did you lend this money? This what... is straight away. No, when did you lend? What date? What month, roughly? It was in January. Now, £380 is a lot of money to her, correct? Yeah. Right, so carry on. You said, I will give you the £380 for the flight or I'll pay for the flight. Then what was said? She said she would pay me back. She'd be able to pay me back by April. By April? Yeah. Remember saying you'd be able to pay back by April? Yeah, I did say that. Well, £380 is a lot of money. You're not doing a job which pays you a fortune. Did you think you were going to come into some money or were you going to borrow it from somewhere else? Where were you going to get the £380 from? I was going to save up over the next few months and have it to her by April. And you thought that you could put a little bit away? Yes. Right, what happened? Uh, well, I was on track and then February and March I had to take a few days off work which left me a little bit behind which meant I couldn't pay it back by April so I said to Chelsea could I extend it to May and give myself another month and she said that was fine. Remember that? Well, let's just pause. Now, this is where we have some disagreement. Emma, you say you came into some very difficult financial circumstances and I rely on your credibility for that. Do you understand? You tell me, Judge Rinder, look, I did agree to this, but the reality was there was no precise terms here. And so I wanted to put some money away. 
but I couldn't because I was in real financial difficulty and I was only able to spend money on the real essentials, correct? Yes. Chelsea, Emma says that she was only able to spend money on the real essentials. Is that true? No. No. Why is that not true? Wait, here's your moment, Chelsea. Why is that not true? She bought herself an iPhone 6. How much was that? Well, I didn't actually pay it. You didn't pay anything? You signed a contract? Yeah, I didn't pay anything for the phone. She Let's pays more a month. Let's assume that's true. Did you have a phone that worked? Yes, but it was... Talking! So was it essential for you to get a new phone or did you just want a more snazzy one? It was an a agreement between me and my mum. My mum needed a better phone, so I gave her my Fine. old phone. Assume that's true. I don't need to hear about this. Assume that's true. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.